and welcome back to Welcome to the Rock. <laughs> All right, check this out. So I didn't win the Tony, but um, I didn't win the Tony, but I did win a Tony. This is from what is this gentleman's name? Jackson Smith sent me my very own Tony, um, and this is what it says: Come from away. Here's your Tony. <laughs> The card said, close your eyes and imagine it's real. <laughs> it feels so real. Nobody else has a tonty. So, <laughs> welcome to the rock. <laughs> Ladies You're and gentlemen, easy. look Sit who it is. Couch. It's Sue Dunstan. Sue, can you tell us your function here at Come From Away? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I sit in the green room a lot. I'm a standby. <laughs> You're a standby, and who do you cover? I cover everyone, all the women in the show, except for Kendra. <laughs> oh my gosh, is that true? Because Kendra is so good. Because she's so good. The they mean, yeah. yeah. That's so shocking because you're perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you have to do. 8.75 a.m. 8.75. Totally. <laughs> See, that's what I would do. That's why they didn't give me that track. <laughs> um, can you tell us the most rewarding aspect of being a standby? Um... I think so far it's been going on and the whole cast during the show and then after the show showing like such love, mm. you know what I mean? Yes. It, just, it just validates like all the hard work you've done because mm. you fit in seamlessly and they're like it was seamless, it was like, mm. you know, that, those kind of compliments are great because that's really all you need to achieve is... <laughs> not screwing up the chairs and stopping the but show. But that's the thing, is that you do so much more than that. Like, your acting was phenomenal, your singing's amazing, you were so chill, you acted like, oh, no big deal, been doing it forever, when you have not. And it, it's a terrifying experience for anyone else, but you, like, rose to the occasion and then did even more. So it's impressive. Muffin, you're so sweet. It's impressive, man, it really it's so is. impressive. <laughs> Truly, it is. <laughs> We are so, so grateful to have you, Sue Oh, Dunstan. well, you know. Happy to be here. <laughs> You're lovely, my friend. Um, I, might, I might be tempted. <laughs> Kaylin Warbelow, if we all got tattoos, oh God, would you get one? <laughs> it can be as small as, like, a blue dot to represent that. It can be wherever you want. It can be wherever you want. Kaylin's in. Can you tell everybody what your idea was? That happens sometimes. I, I, text, I text Colello. Um, <laughs> Colello! <laughs> I think we should all get tattoos. I mean, it is that big of a deal what we've all been through. That's right. I'm in. And she said, I love it. That's what I texted back. Arturo, you get a tattoo with us? Uh, That's a yes. Good, good, good! Yes. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> this is awesome. Is Petrina, what is happening? Would you get a tattoo if we all got tattoos? What's that song yet? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Even if it was just a dot, oh. a blue dot to represent oh. the earth. Get up, one little How blue. tiny is the dot? The tiniest yeah, sure. that it could be. And still show up. You can Maybe. consider that? Maybe. That's so sweet of you. I just have a purple. I just have my face. I understand that. Yeah, I knew you would be a hard sell. I, like for other people? Yep. So cool. I know, you're so respectful. And I'm respectful of your, of your decision. Yeah. Um, but a blue dot, maybe. Like right like, in your nose. No, right no, no. Oh, cute. Yeah, right there. <laughs> cute. Yeah. Right. Under my hair. Yeah, right. let's do this. Yeah. I'm about my silhouette. Yes. My silhouette right there. Well, I have a birthmark on She's in. She's in. Oh, yeah. Here we go. All right, you guys. Oh. In the house. In the, his house. All right. Let's do this. All right. Hands in. Hands in. Come on, Thursday. Come on, Come on, Thursday. Adjust your hands. Uh, huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh oh. Yep, yep. A five, six, seven, eight. We, we are here. Let's do it. Yeah. And then I come over here. And I get little hands from sweet Kendra. God, she's the cutest. Oh, man. All right, let's do this. But sweet potato fries showed up today. <laughs> <laughs> Careful there. Hi. Look at this. They made them crispy. It's exactly right. It's perfect. It's perfect. Tony, what's behind, what's behind you? What is that thing on the wall? This was a gift from the people of Gander. Because they came and did the Come From Away Memorial Experience. Oh, the Kochek kids, right? Yes, the Kochek kids. The Kochek kids. 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 Who are the Kochek kids? That's the song that Tamika made up for the Kochek kids. No. Oh, shit. Sure. Hi, Broadway. I'm Broadway.com. Say hi, Broadway.com. So fun! <laughs> so 
sardines. We're in the middle of Flanders. Oh, and look, oh, hello. What's that doing there? Look at that. Look at all these other amazing shows. Did you see The Encounter? It was awesome. No, I didn't. It was one of my favorite shows. I want to see that. That was one of the best things I've ever seen. I'm going to try to go see Sweeney Todd, which I'm really excited about. Oh, yes. Because I met um, Noah Lewis came last night to us. Tall, drink of handsome water. Okay, so here we are at Sardis and uh, having the second meeting of the minds with the Tone Two Girls, and we're having a great time. We're all very connected. Um, we've been talking a lot. Uh, hi guys, remember how we were gonna? We we're just gonna talk about. You guys want to talk about your life? And no, we're checking out. I'm so sorry. Did we pay the bill? Are we? <laughs> sorry. Why are you the most beautiful thing I've ever seen? You're stunning, and we're gonna make out before the summer is through. <laughs> you guys. Well, I'm making out with all of them. <laughs> so the funny part is, is that they're not really on their fucking phones. I'm sorry, on their phones. But Mary Beth is still on her phone. Look, yeah, not on her phone at all. But this one actually is. This one's actually got some business. She's got some business to attend to. Want to see my bruise? I do. Can you tell us the story of your bruise? Tell us the story. It's it was, a cool mom story. It was, it was Monday after school. Yes. And we got out the sprinkler. Yes. And we were running through our backyard. And I said, Colin, this is how you do it. <laughs> Famous last word. And I ran. Yep. Wiped out on the sprinkler. And yep. I have a bruise the size of my hand. We need to see a picture. It looks picture less. one of the moons of Jupiter. <laughs> it looks more like a moon, less like I'm I missed it. She's like, you missed it. She's like, oh, you missed it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's what it looks like. It's disgusting. Can you close it looks beautiful. It looks like another planet. And it's going to change colors, too. It's going to be like green and yellow. Uh, <laughs> it looks like my kitchen counter. <laughs> what happened to your kitchen counter? <laughs> Lady says, this has been an awful time, you can tell the truth. It's just the worst. Awful. Angry. Upset. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you all so, so very much. I'm really grateful. We miss Stephanie J. Block. We miss Stephanie J. Block, who started this whole thing. She's the reason why we all met together for the first time. And she's not here because she doesn't care about us anymore. But we do miss her still. That's not true. She's busy. <laughs> There's our sexy band. New guitar player. He's hot. Good Googleish Nicholas. Oh. <laughs> My heavens. Um, starting at bar what? <laughs> Whoa. Getting closer. Funny or not funny. <laughs> What's up, Nate? Oh, good day. How are you, brother? Do well. Good to see you. Right. <laughs> Romano. <laughs> What's up, Carl? How are you, buddy? Good to see you too, man. Welcome to the Rock. Welcome to the Rock. Hi, Broadway.com. This is Alec Berlin. I'm Alec Berlin. <laughs> he has been with us from the beginning. Since year dot. That's right. And you and I have been making music together for... Since pre-dot. That's right. Because <laughs> we did If Then together. We did If Then together um, and graced the stages of various nightclubs around that's New York correct. City. That's correct. That's correct. Sometimes horizontal. <laughs> <laughs> did I say that? No. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of the best guitar players in New York City. That's the truth. He is extraordinary. Thank you for saying hi to us. Thank you very much. Love you, brother. I am here with Romano. What's up? What's up? Um, we promised that we would have some interviews with some of the band members, and okay. you are an extraordinary band member. Can you tell everybody what you play? I play the Boron. Uh huh. Tell us about the Boron. The Boron? Boron or Boron? Oh, is it different? Uh, Bo some, some people say Boron, Boron some Boron. Say Boron. Like tomato, tomato, okay. Sure. Uh, it's an Irish drum, mm -hmm. which looks like a big block of Parmesan cheese. Yes. It's good because my name is Romano. That works out well. Works out really well. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just a big drum, and you play with a tipper. Uh huh. Um, and it looks like you're shaking water off a pen when you play the, right play the thing. But uh, I also play the udu and shakers and djembe, and um, yeah, that's it. and I'm a new, native Newfoundlander. You are. Tell me about that. Where in Newfoundland are you from? I'm from St. John's. Mm -hmm. um, and left when I was in, well, I guess, 1999. Mm -hmm and was uh, 10 years in Toronto, and then 
went on the road with Wicked. Until, oh, right on. Until come from so life. you're an old pro, man. Road dog. That's right. I'm constantly telling people about Newfoundland and, and how we treat people and um, how we are to each other and how we support each other. So you feel um, well represented in this show? Well re represented. Awesome. But people just don't get it. But this is a show that, of people that get it. And, yes. Um, and it's wonderful to be around such lovely cast and crew and hmm. creatives. And it's just a wonderful experience. What's the most challenging aspect? What's hard? Um, the challenging aspect is living in New York. Yeah. I'd say it's pretty challenging. Yeah. What's what <laughs> feels the most challenging? <laughs> Um, yeah, that's probably it, because, I mean, I, I'm pretty Like, what's challenging about, yeah, being in New York? It's just in the whole Broadway center where there's so many people. Yes. It's, uh, it's difficult to breathe sometimes. Yes. You know, you're trying to get to work, and, and people are just standing there like, look up. Yeah, look up. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I sometimes I posit that there should be a like I live here lane. Yes. Like I'm just yeah, going to work lane. Right. You can't get in that lane. That's just for I, those of us that that aren't looking around. I completely agree. <laughs> um, but I, I love the city. It's just that you know the four square blocks around our, our work. Is, yes. Is, it could be a little intense. Well, I have to say, and I feel very confident to say this on behalf of the entire cast that you are an extraordinary addition to our family. <laughs> Your energy, your love, obviously your musicianship. You're an extraordinary musician, but your your energy, man. You're purely full of goodness and love, and you are always present with us. And I'm so so grateful to share that stage with you and to make music with you, brother. Thank you very much. I love you very much. Love you too. Right on. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, look who's come to visit me. Happy Pride. It's Carmel Dean. Oh my God. Uh, can you tell everybody where we're going? We're going to the Dyke March. That's right! We're yeah, going to the Dyke March! It's actually a protest. That's right. This year it's a protest. That's right. Standing it's up different. for our rights and what we believe in. Yeah. They're still it's gonna good. have dikes on bikes though, right? That's my favorite part. All of a sudden you hear this like, <laughs> and all the women come with all the bikes. It's amazing. Um, I may or may not flash them. Dean, we've left the the parade to do what? Signs. <laughs> what is our sign going to read? Sign. Well, you'll have to just see. But we have stepped into a CBS because we want to make a sign. I'm so happy to be doing this with you, my friend. Yes. <laughs> to the rock thank you for joining us um i think next week is the last week so i gotta make it really really good come back and see what's in store backstage um thanks again you guys for joining this little ride of ours in the meantime be kind to yourselves be kind to each other we'll see you next week Where the river meets the sea. welcome to the rock